welcome to my YouTube channel. This is, is Grace Tutor. And what I do on this uh, channel is that I solve technical drug problems and also provide information that are important for you to have a better performance in your technical drawing examination. And if you're a technical drawing student, I want to ask you to, to subscribe to this YouTube channel and also put on the notification bell so that whenever I upload a new video, you'll be notified. And then you help me to share my videos with your friends who are also technical drawing students or engineering students like you. And then um, keep on practicing. Very, very important that you pra practice this subject. is a practical subject. You need to practice it for you to master it. Now, the question I want to solve here now is question 7 on this textbook, um, Engineering Drawing 1, written by Pickup and Parker. And question 7 that I want to solve is this, that says that two lines OA and OB at right angles with OA horizontal and OB vertical. OA is 150 millimeters long and OB is 130 millimeters, 130 millimeters. Construct a parabola to pass through A and B using the envelope method, using the envelope method and that is what I want to show you right now. So the first thing that I need to do is to draw the horizontal line so draw a horizontal line like this and then I'm going to put a vertical line so you draw a vertical line like this okay so you draw a vertical line like this now on this horizontal line this is point O now this is point O here this is point O then we take a measurement of 150 millimeters on this line as we are told that OA is on the horizontal so this is 150 so this is point A now this point is point A as you can see here then we take a measurement of 130 millimeters up to get point B so this is point B this is 130 millimeters and this point is point B as you can see here this is point B Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to divide OA and OB into a number of equal parts. So I'm going to divide OA into 10 equal parts. So 150 by 10 will give us 15. That means I'm going to take 15, 15 millim millimeters from each of these points. So 15 millimeters from here. Yeah, so this is 15, this is 1, this is 2, so this is 3, this is 4. This is five, this is six, this is uh, seven, this is eight, this is nine, so this is nine, the, the light, okay, this is nine, and this is ten. So we have those ten points. So let me number this. So let me number this as this is one, two, three. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and this is 10. So I'm not going to number this one. So then also I will divide this into 10 equal parts. So 130 by 10. That will give us 13. So I will just do it like this. So this is 13. Okay. So here is 13 millimeters. The next is 26, and the next is 39. So I'll move it up again. So this is 13 millimeters. So 13 millimeters. So the next is 26. So the next is 39. Then again, so I will take. So this is 13 millimeters. This is 13. The next is 26. So the next is 39. And the main one is uh, 13. So this is point B now. Okay. So we are told that. So the curve is going to be connected with point A and point B. So we have to take note of that. So I'm going to number this. So this is one. This is two. This is three. This is four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So let's take note of this. Okay, now, so the next thing that we are going to do is that, so I'm going to join 
So 9 to 9, so 9 to 9, like this. Then I will join 8 to 8. 8 to 8, together, like this. 8 to 8. Then I'm joining 7 to 7. So 7 to 7. So like this. So 7 goes with 7. And 6 goes with 6. So 6 goes with 6. So this is... So 6 goes with 6. Then 5. So 5 goes with 5. 5 goes with 5. So next is 4 goes with 4. 4 goes with 4. Then 3 goes with 3. 3 goes with 3. So this is it. Then 2 goes with 2. 2 goes with 2. Then 1 goes with 1. 1 goes with 1. Okay, so one goes with one, there is it. Okay, so having done this, so um, so we are going to look at the point of intersection. So you observe this very, very well. If you observe this very well. So if you observe this very well, so you can see the curve. So here we have, this is the point here. So where they intersect, so where they join together, so this point, so this point, so where the line are touching it other on this part. So that's what we are following. So this point here. So we have a point here. So we have a point here. Then we have a point here. So here we have a point. We have a point. So here and here. So we join this together. So nine. And if we join them together with a French curve. So I'm joining this point together with the use of a French curve. So just look at how I'm going to do it. So this is it. So this is going to be somewhere in straight line. Okay. Alright, so I can join these three together. So just need to be careful. I join this together like this. Then I will join. So I can join. So I need to observe it very well. Okay, so I can join these three. I'll join these three together like this. Okay, so we are moving on. We are moving on. Alright, so the next is here. So let me adjust the French curve. So now I can join these three together like this. Okay. All right, so we are moving on. So the next is, so these three, I can join them together like this. I can join these three together. So I believe you can see the way I'm doing it. It's very simple and it's very, very easy. So now, so these three, uh, okay, I can join all these four points together from here. So take it easy from here. So I'm joining this. Alright, so this is the curve that we have to produce. So this is the curve that we have to produce and this method as said in the question is known as envelope method. Envelope method. So this is a parabolic envelope method. Thank you for watching and thank you for listening. All you need to do is to practice and I believe you can do it better than I do when you practice and become a master at it. Thank you for watching and thank you for listening. God bless you.